All right, gang, I'm gonna try to pull off a sphere, concrete sphere, with a regular mix. Well, I might add a couple things to it, but it won't be quick wall. Um, I will be using the cement board tape. Uh, I don't know about the lighting or the sound. It's pretty windy today, and there's lots of Blue Jays around. So depending on the size of your ball, uh, you need to put it in something. You could cut a hole in styrofoam, use a two and a half gallon bucket, five gallon bucket. You may have to put some weight on it. Depends on the dynamics. Make sure your hole is obviously at the bottom. You know what? I'm not even going to use uh, tape on this one. So I'm using a ratio of um, one Portland to three parts coarse sand. I'm going to use a little polyfiber. These fibers don't really break up until it gets wet. Alright, so approximately 16 ounces of water. I don't know how much this is going to take. Two ounces of uh, acrylic fortifier. So I think it's almost too wet. Slump uh, might get me in trouble. the weight on that side so now the ball wants to turn so we need to get something on this side so I'm just pressing in on it gently trying to get a consistent thickness I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do it this is how you can get her done I gotta make another batch here. I ran out. I didn't use much water. It all depends on how wet the sand is. I'm guessing I used maybe three or four ounces. Much. 
Just a little more. It's amazing how you can go from not enough to too much. I think this will be okay. The whole key, like what I'm doing, and I'm no expert, is as I move my hand over it, I'm pressing to try to um, get the mix to compact, and at the same time trying to get a consistent thickness. And I'm going to get a little water here, and then we're going to just kind of smooth it, depending on the finish you're going for, right? When you get to the high spots, just a little more pressure. Try to carry that material. You gotta be gentle when you turn it. It's always gonna be a little funky down here at the opening. Okay, this isn't really thick. Um, there, uh, this is set up. I'll probably end up when I take the ball out. I'll probably trim that bottom, clean it up. So that's a ball. The only thing I added was the the fibers and a um, uh, bonding agent, which is you can get that from Quick Crete at any big box uh, acrylic fortifier. And it's really windy here today, so I'm going to bag it, and we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, so I got a couple, well I have one big crack from when I moved it off this pallet. It's pretty thin. Was it a success? Not really. I think I can salvage it. And yes, I could have probably put another coat on it while it was still green, but I didn't have time last night. So we'll get this ball out and see how bad it is. Um, Maybe once it's cured, I can maybe make a serrated uh, sphere like I did a couple of years ago. So there's a big crack. You know what though, I think, I mean this isn't even 24 hours. I think we'll uh, keep giving the water to her and I'll trim it. And yeah, I may serrate it right here. 